Hey teachers, have you wanted to start a blog or a website and you just have no idea where to start? You're confused, overwhelmed with all the options and just don't know how to get that thing off the ground? I wanna show you how to start a blog or a teacher website in 2021 and go through all the things that you need to have on your website to make sure that it's converting and that you are able to grow your business. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. My name is Tim from OnlineTeacherDude.com. I help teachers to teach online and build a business for themselves. And I'm excited that you're here. I've got my laptop here, I've got my coffee, and we're gonna dive into all things websites for teachers. And if you get value from this video, I wanna invite you to Website in a Weekend, my mini course on helping teachers get their website up and running in a weekend, understanding that it's a process but I'm gonna give you the tools and the confidence to get started today. So firstly, when building a teacher website, you need to be really clear on your niche. You need to know who you're serving, how you're helping them, and what you are going to do to help them. Who are you serving on your website? I see many websites or blogs created by teachers that have no direction. They've just got a lot of different resources on there. They've got different blog posts that are in different types of niches. They've got lots of things about themselves. And what they fail to remember is that your website is not about you. Your website is about those that are visiting your website. You have about three seconds to keep someone on your website. And so you need to be really clear on your niche. Who are you serving and what problem are you solving? The next step in creating your teacher website is to come up with your URL to actually purchase a domain name that will become your website name. A lot of people get stuck on this process and they get overwhelmed with all the different types of website names that they could have for their business. I wanna narrow it down for you to three different types and give you my recommendation. Number one, this can be your own name and www.yourname.com will be a name that will be able to stay with you regardless of how your business changes or how your niche changes or you know what different avenues you go into. The second type of domain name is your business name. So let's say you've created a business called the best online tutor, I don't know, whatever it is. Make sure that that is available before you decide on that name, but that's a great name to have because it's very clear about what you do and it is your business name. And number three is your brand name. So that would be www.yourbrandname.com. That's what my website is, www.onlineteacherdude.com. This can be a catchy URL and very attractive for people to click on or to search for. However, if your brand name changes, then your URL is probably gonna to have to change too. My recommendation, if you don't know where to start, is to start with purchasing your name. Okay, the third step in building your teacher website or blog is to choose a hosting service. Your website needs to be hosted somewhere on the internet. It's kind of like renting a shop in a shopping mall or renting a stall in a supermarket. You need to rent some space somewhere on the internet. Now, over 30 to 35% of all the websites created in the world are made with WordPress. This is a great place to start. You still need to host your, your website on a hosting service like Bluehost. I recommend that because it's great for beginners or InMotion or SiteGround. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of hosting services that you can go with and they're really inexpensive. You don't have to pay any more than $10 a month for your website hosting service. However, a platform that I'm really excited about right now is Groove. Groove is an all-in-one marketing platform that will allow you to create websites, landing pages, sales funnels, grow your email list, sell products, sell coaching services, sell online digital courses, sell physical products, and do so much more. Groove is currently in beta at the filming of this video, and they are allowing users to create a free account and build up to three websites entirely for free. You can then upgrade to the lifetime plan if you would like to. I would recommend Groove if you are someone that wants to do more than just build a website. If you want to grow an email list and you want to have a sales funnel or sell products, digital or physical, then Groove is really the best all-in-one platform that I have ever seen. And because they are in beta, the price is so low. 
you will save on monthly fees because if you get in with the lifetime upgrade, you'll never have to pay a monthly fee for all these other services again. I'm gonna give you a run through quickly of how to build a landing page or a home page for your website in Groove for teachers, so stick around. The next step in building your teacher website is to start designing. Once you have decided on your business name or your URL domain name, you've got a hosting service, you have started to go with WordPress or Groove or Wix or whatever the case may be, now you get to start designing it, which is the fun part, but also the part that can really hold a lot of teachers up because there's so much that can go into designing a website. I would start with choosing your colors. This is a good place to start because then you kind of know, you know the color theme of your website. You can go to a website called coolers.co and you can choose your color palette. I would choose three to four colors and stick with them and make them consistent throughout your website. You're also gonna to need to decide on navigation. What is going to be inside your website? What pages are you going to have? You also need to start creating content. What blog posts can you write that are gonna be interesting for your audience? And also blog posts that are going to rank in search so that more people can find your website. All right, and lastly, let's talk about designing your homepage. Nowadays, websites are really more focused on the homepage rather than all of the subsequent pages that you might have in your menus or in your navigation. Most people want to land on the homepage and be able to scroll through and see key features of your business, what you're offering, and how you can help someone. So I like to think of these key things that you need to have on your homepage. After I get through this, we're gonna jump in and we're gonna build one. All right, number one on your homepage, you need to have clear navigation. That's that menu bar at the top where people know exactly where they can go on your website to learn different things. Right underneath that, you need to have a strong hero section. This is the fold that is at the very top. And this is where you need to be very clear in your messaging about who you are and how you can help someone. So this is where that statement would go with a very, very brief and concise in, uh, introduction of yourself, maybe a really big image of you or something related to your business. Right underneath that, it's really a great idea to have some kind of a call to action. So think about what you, what is the most important thing that you want someone to do when they land on your website? Is it to book a call with you? Is it to book a free lesson? Is it to download something so that you, they can become a subscriber on your email list? Is it to purchase something? Whatever it is, make that call to action really, really clear right underneath the fold. Underneath that, this is where you could put your opt-in for your email list. Think about something really valuable that someone can get to then become an email subscriber. Underneath that, it's great to have two or three key features of what it would be like to work with you and what value they can get from being a customer with you and what sort of you know resolution they can get to the problem that you're trying to solve. So two or three key features of what it's like to work with you would be great underneath your email opt-in. After that, it's really good to have some social proof or some testimonials from people that have bought from you before or who have worked with you before. So underneath that section, include some kind of uh, testimonial section. A video testimonial is so powerful, so if you can get that from somebody, include that in that section as well. And then under that, you might wanna have another secondary call to action or a duplicate of your primary call to action. So if the most important thing you want someone to do is to book a call with you, maybe you have that again underneath the social proof or you have a secondary call to action to either download something or maybe to go and um, you know visit a masterclass that you did or something like that. So this is another place where you can have another call to action before they finish scrolling through the page. You could, after that, have other sections related to you know, how you can help them and how you can solve their problems. You could have a section for you know, featured blog posts that you've done, that's really great. But if not, you can just end that page with a footer. And a footer usually includes things like your social media icons, your contact information, maybe a contact form that people can fill in and a way that they can uh, get in touch with you. All right, let's jump into Groove and actually build a teacher landing page right now with you. Here I am in my Groove account and to build a website, you're gonna go over to Groove Pages and Groove Funnels right here. Once I click this, I am able to then create a new site simply like this. I can choose from all the different templates here, which is a great way to get started if you want but I like starting with a blank template, so I'm going to click on a blank template and call it Demo for Teachers. Start building. So, just like that, I have created my website. Now, 
Once you have created this page right here, you're gonna go over to pages. I just wanna show you that this is where your navigation is. So as I wanna create more pages, like an about section, a contact page, and things like that, I just click on this plus arrow up here. But first, I'm gonna go into elements to show you that you can add individual elements like this. It is just a drag and drop. Or I can go into blocks, and I can use designed pre-made blocks, which is what I'm gonna use, or wireframes, which are more, you know, just kind of simple text black and white blocks that you can do more customizing with. Let's go to design blocks for the sake of this and let's start with our header. So we're gonna go down to navigation bars and we are going to drag this simple one over like this because I like that one and it has a button. I can also add pages to it if I want as well. Then we are going to create our hero section which is our also known as a header. Maybe you want to have something really simple but nice looking like here, let's go with this one. Now you can change the call to action. You can change um, whatever it is. You know, you can say, hi, whoops. Hi, I'm Tim. <laughs> Obviously that's not me. And change that to an image if you want very easily by clicking on the edit and going over here to configure that particular uh, image. All right, then we're gonna go back over and we're going to add some kind of a call to action. So here we go, call to action, and you can have a number of different call to actions in here uh, like this. So maybe it is something really simple like this one here. So I can just drag that in like that. And then I also suggested, so this is you know ordering something, but you can customize the text and the image and the button to be whatever you want. And maybe this one, you don't even want a button here, so you just delete it like that and use your own text and maybe have your niche statement right here about who you're helping and how you're helping them. So then after that, we're gonna go and add in uh, some kind of an opt-in for your uh, email list. So I like these right here under lead magnets. Very, very easy to just you know have something like this which will allow people to go to your landing page, which will help to grow your email list. So this seems to not have dropped in. Let's try it one more time. Go down here, there we go. And then you can sort of you know, highlight with these bullet points the different features of this opt-in that would be helpful for them. But they've got lots of different ones in here as well. Now, after that, we are going to have some kind of a content box that is going to be about you know what it's like to work with uh, you and you know what sort of value you provide. So you can choose something. I like this one here. It's really simple. You can pop that in there and you know customize the text and those three little blocks to to be specific to you know who you are and and who you're helping. All right. Uh, after that, you want to have some kind of social proof or some testimonials. So let's go back over here and go to testimonials. And I really like this block right here. So I'm gonna drag him in like that. And obviously find three people that have worked with you and have gotten value from what you offer and put that into there, in, in here. Now, you might wanna end, as I talked about, with another call to action or something else that they can do. Or maybe you have some featured blog posts. So if I go to content, I can go down to, I think it's not this one, but it might be this one, yeah. And add in the uh, blog post right here. Okay, if I can't get it to pop into there, I will just put it right now, there we go. And those could be your featured blog posts. And then finally, you're going to have some kind of, you know, a footer of some sort. So if I go to footer right here, I can add in you know, the footer that I like, that I can customize and uh, turn it into you know, things related to me and obviously change all of the uh, different text that they already have in there. So that's it. I have just built a very simple landing page. Obviously this is you know, absolutely unrelated to you and what you offer, but I can click on the little I button up here to be able to see you know, what it looks like. And um, you can just see how beautiful it, it does look um, from uh, just spending about five minutes building this. So that was really, really easy. Obviously, you're gonna have to go in 
and you're going to have to change the text, the font, and all those kinds of things, and the different colors. But I really like the pre-made blocks because of how pretty they look. Okay, so that was a really simple and quick run through of how easy it is to build a free website in Groove. In my course, Website in a Weekend, I go into more detail about customizing through Groove, how to set up your own domain or your own custom domain on Groove, and how to set up your blog and various things like that. So if you're interested in Website in a Weekend, you can go to onlineteacherdo.com forward slash website. All right, thank you for watching this video all about building a teacher website or teacher blog in 2021, and I hope it's given you some ideas for you know, what you can build for yourself when you put in the work. And there's so much that can come from a website. Hope you got value from this. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and leave me a comment or a question if anything is on your mind. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.